right, hello. So I'm just in the process of editing my terraforming video, um, but it's harder to put it together than most other ones, so it's just taking a bit of time. Um, but if you're on Twitter, I've posted the pictures of the outcome already, which is the Hammerhood Festival. Um, so today we're going to make a cat cafe, which is a petting zoo. So it's a working petting zoo and this is a playful park and an animal house. So the room types do seem more like a barnyard petting zoo scenario. However, with a little finessing with the rooms, we can turn the inside of a building into a playful park, which we can then turn that into a cat cafe. First thing I recommend is look up some pictures of cute cafes. Um, looking at some pictures, we can determine a few things. Cafes are often part of larger shop fronts. They have big glass windows and they have outdoor seating at the front. So using this information, we'll plan to make a pretty boxy structure as it'll probably be connected to other shops later. So we don't want to go too crazy on the sides. Um, but if we end up having it freestanding, you can always decorate the sides. So now cafes are, you know, all about those open inviting entrances. So to start, instead of laying down the walls first, we're going to lay down the doors and windows. So looking at the layouts in the pictures, doors are a mixed placement of, you know, on the side or on the in the middle, but usually they have a big window attached to keep it very open on the inside. So I've decided to lay this out with a central entrance with two big windows on either side of a fancy door with some infinite windows and a carved mural above it. And that's all dyed yellow. And I'm going to use mud brick. Now I've, laid brick down under the windows right now but we're going to change that in a sec. Now the reason we're going to change this is it's going to be the trick that's going to let us have the park register both inside and outside. So you can get creative as to how you do it but in this scenario what you need to essentially do is make that front patio area and the building room register as one room. So to do this, you're going to have to remove some part of that front wall in the bottom two blocks and have the patio fully closed off like with a plaza entrance. Now I took out the bricks and put in the wooden fortifications. It's often frustrating for me that they don't count as a wall, but in this scenario it's perfect because it means technically that's not registered as a room where the windows are. Um, it, it looks great. And now the whole thing is going to be an enormous plaza. So it means that we can have our tree outside and the cafes inside, but it's technically all a playful park. So now that we've got the mechanics of the playful park in the room, we'll fill up the sides and we'll move on. Um, I've added a flat wooden awning just at the top here for some extra definition of the level. So from here, we could just place a roof on here. We don't need any extra floors or anything. This will work with the single floor for a petting zoo cat cafe. Um, and if it's going to be a freestanding building, it's, it might look a little more sensible to put a roof on it now. Um, but I'm going to pop another level on it um, just to add more of the aesthetic of looking like those multi-level shop fronts. Um, so on this next level, I've put in some sets of black windows and a yellow blind over the top so that it matches the bottom but stands out and looks a little different. I also chipped out some of that wooden roof and I replaced it with the chiseled floorboard so that I could put some flowers in to look like little box flower windows. Now, to add more effect, I've actually gone up another level on the right side. So I added a roof on half the floor without a lip and then about halfway and then I've used the wooden roof to divide all the way across you'll see but then in the middle I've just gone straight up and we're going to have white gables on both these roofs but they're going to be facing away from the building. So I chose the dyed terracotta roof because I wanted a roof with a brown base to match that mud brick better. So gabled roof, one in, one up, and some flat pieces on the building that I don't often use, the flat roof pieces. Because it's tall, you won't see them much, but they do make a difference. 
Uh, to finish uh, with the roof, I've put in some chimneys. So two round chimneys on the lower roof and one big square chimney on top. And I added a tainted tree in the chimney, which gives it the smoke effect. So now that we've got a good structure, we can turn this into the petting zoo. First thing we want to do is add the thing, like all the things that we know we're going to need just for the playful park so we don't have to worry about making that work later. So we need a swing on the uh, tree, a bench, two flowers and two plank pathways. I've put the bench inside because I want to use it as part of the cafe table. I actually think it looks less cafe-ish outside and makes that outside look too parkish. So once this registers as a park, we can move on and make space for the cats behind it and that will be the petting zoo. Now the animal house is what we need and that requires the haystack and the big hay bed plus a pet bowl. Now the haystack and the bed don't look very good for cats and dogs, um, so we're just going to hide them. Now to do this, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to create a two block high room behind the main cafe building and make that into the animal house. Um, from there, it's immediately going to be registering as a petting zoo, but just to make it look good, we need to finesse it a little bit more. So I wanted the entrance from the back to be small and not allow humans to get in, just to show it was like just the cat's sleeping area. So an easy way to do this would also just be to knock out one block and put down some plaza entrances, but I wanted like a cat flat looking entranceway. So to do this, I knocked out a floor block and one wall block, and then I put in those fabric doors. Now the gap isn't too noticeable, but to cover it, cover it up fully, I just went and got magnetic blocks and I use them on the inside of the animal house with large castle tiles because they take up four blocks. So that's going to cover the gap. Cats and dogs can get through this space, but villagers can't. So I have the pet bowl back in that room just to make it register but there's pet bowls out the front that you can put food in to keep them fed they will eat out of those now once it's registered um, before you close it up put in some name plates and assign your cats um, and once you've done that you can just box all the room back in i would just use like a wooden roof or something back here if it's a visible um, like a freestanding building just use like a wooden roof make it look like a storage area I'm not going to do that because I actually really like the building all overall so I'm going to take it up to Sandy Highlands which is my cerulean step and I'm going to put it in that new uh, shopping area I'm going to start at the bottom of the cliff now for the decorations um, I've tried to make some cute little entrances um for the cats to use as doorways just for my just using my favorite like fabric blocks and stuff that sort of matched um for the kitchen i used a magnetic block with the modern cooktop and i placed down a brazier and a fry pan um, to get that fiery effect and then some hanging decorations above it now as it's quite tall obviously you could fill up the top with rooms but NPC is notorious for not getting up there or getting up there and getting stuck um, so I'm just going to put a little suspended gangway up there for supplies above the cafe area. So the reason I went to all the effort of making this this way and having the inside building part of the playful park is so the residents will use the inside too. You could just make the inside an animal house but in, and like it'll still register but people won't go in there as often and interact. So now that it's decorated inside, I'm just going to put a few finishing touches on the outside. So cafe tables are really going to sort of set off that final motif of it being a cafe. Um, some flowers and some vines and white roses leading up to the top just to tie it all together. And that's it for this cat cafe idea. 
Um, I, like I said, I should have the terraforming video out soon. I just want to make sure that the explanations are clear and it's sort of good footage because it is sort of hard to explain. Um, but like I've always said, if there's anything that you need help with or you want to see or anything, just let me know. Contact me here. Um, in this one, I have put my Twitter up in that information thing as well because I post a lot of stuff and it's an easy way to contact me as well. Otherwise, I'll see you guys hopefully really soon for that terraforming video. Bye.